Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a file using a pre-signed URL. Now I have a video that shows you how to create a pre-signed URL to view a certain file. So what you could do is you can create a pre-signed URL and give that URL to your friend and then you can set a time limit on that URL to expire. In this way, you can secure your content without making the object in your S3 bucket public. Now in this video, we are going to upload a file using a pre-signed URL. Right now, I'm in my AWS Labs repo on GitHub. This is where you'll find step-by-step -step instructions for this lab. So pre-signed URL S3 upload is the right file for this lab. I'm going to click on this and this is the link that I'll be putting in the description below so that you can directly go to this lab. Okay, now let's get started. Before you can do this lab, you have to have Bodo 3 SDK installed uh, on your machine. If you haven't done that, then you can do that by clicking on here and looking at the instructions. It's super simple, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Now the steps to upload a file using pre-signed URL is something like this. Step number one, optional, create a new S3 bucket. Now I've done this already, pre-sign-upload. This is my bucket name. And right now, as you can see, it's empty. We're gonna soon upload a file to this bucket. Now, going back to the steps, step number two is create a new text file and copy this code and save it as a .py file. Now, this is the code that will actually generate the pre-signed URL, which you can give to anyone and that person will be able to upload files to your S3 bucket. So as you can see, the first um, line in this code is import Bodo3. Bodo3 is the Python SDK for AWS so that you can talk to and work with AWS resources like S3 and EC2. Second line, S3 equals Bodo3.client S3. Now we're using this line to be able to talk to S3 uh, by just referencing S3 variable. Now the lines that I've highlighted now, you need to use this only if you don't have your AWS credentials set up on your machine. Now, if you've installed AWS command line interface or the CLI, then you should have this part already done. But if you have not done that, I first of all highly recommend installing the AWS CLI. And if not, then uncomment this part by removing these quotations, uh, both of these, and replace these two parameters with your actual access key ID and secret access key. I'll put something on the description below that will help you create these if you have not created them already. This is optional uh, and you need to uncomment this and fill this with your credentials only if you don't have your AWS credentials already set up. Now the next line bucket equals raw underscore input enter your bucket name. Now, this is required because when you run this script, we want uh, to ask the user running the script to supply a bucket name and also a desired file name. So if I was the person generating a pre-signed URL and I wanted all the files uploaded using that pre-signed URLs coming to a certain bucket, this is the bucket name right here. And the key is just the name of the key or the file name that will be set when someone uploads um, a file using that pre-signed URL. So finally, I print the pre-signed URL that's generated. Once again, what you need to do is to create a new text file and copy this code and save it as a .py file. I chose to save this as pre-sign.py file. So I'm here in my terminal and 
in this folder that I'm working on, I have two files. Now, if I view the presign.py, I have already copied that code that we looked at earlier and pasted it here. Now, I don't have the access key ID part because I don't need that because I have set up the AWS CLI. So step number two is done. Now step number three on your command line terminal, navigate to the directory where you save the py file. I already did that. Step number four, execute the script and enter your bucket name and desired file name key. So I'm gonna do that right now. So once again, these are the two files in my working directory. Now, I'm going to say python presign.py. This will execute the script. Okay, I'm asked for a bucket name. This is my bucket. So I'm going to copy the name right here and paste. The desired file name or key for this upload will be info.txt. Okay, now it says generating pre-signed URL and I get a pre-signed URL. I copy this. And by the way, if I forgot to mention, you can only generate a pre-signed URL if you have the correct permissions on your IAM uh, credentials, right? So if you don't have proper permissions, then you may not be able to generate anything. So once I have the pre-signed URL, Step number five says you will receive the pre-signed URL, uh, which we did, and copy that to the clipboard. I copied that. Step number six, on your command line, use CURL to upload any file to S3 using pre-signed URL. So this is the structure of the command that, you, that you'll use to uh, upload the file. So I'm gonna copy just this part because you know this is not a real URL, so copy back to my terminal, I'm going to paste this. Um, and by the way, the text.txt in my case is file.txt, because this is what I've named my file in this in this uh, folder. So I'm uploading this file to S3. And after I put the file name to upload, I'm going to paste the pre signed URL, enter. Now, I uploaded this using the CURL command. I didn't get any response after running the CURL command, which means everything is good. So it's time to go to my S3 bucket and check what's up. So this is my S3 bucket. I'm gonna refresh this page. And here's the file, info.txt. So to review, what we did was we used Bodo3 to generate a pre-signed URL, and then we also uploaded a file using that pre-signed URL. So you have many use cases for the pre-signed URL, both upload and a pre-signed URL just to read the file. Uh, and once again, I have uh, another video that uh, creates a pre-signed URL uh, using the command line interface. Uh, that's even quicker to do, even easier to do. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know in the comments. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, so if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Help me get to that 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.